Android 8.0 Oreo was released some time back and Google claimed that it is faster than the previous variants. So I decided to give it a shot on my Moto G4 Plus in the form of a custom ROM and even though the custom ROM is a bit rough right now, the performance was quite snappy and for me it felt a bit better than the other Nougat based custom ROMs. So I couldn't resist myself and I went for the speed test anyways. So we'll be comparing Oreo with Nougat through a speed test and we'll also see some benchmarks and both of them are having the same custom ROM that is Lineage OS. One is Lineage 14 and other one is Lineage 15. For the speed test, I chose some apps that everybody uses in their day to day life and also some games to check out the loading times. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to the test. So the first one would be the settings app. When opening the settings app, you actually can't make out the difference with the naked eye. So just to show you guys, I will slow down the clips and play it in slow motion. I might do this for some other applications as well where you can't see the difference. But upon slowing the clips, you can see that Oreo was just a fraction faster. Next one is Play Store. You might feel that I've clicked on the applications at different times, but in the end, I will tell you how I did this test and how it is very accurate. For the application itself, Play Store opened up way faster on Oreo. I had already started scrolling the app on the Oreo variant by the time the Nougat one opened up. I wanted to make sure that this test is as accurate as possible and for that I cleared the recent panel before starting the test and I also made sure that all the app versions are same. But when we opened up Chrome though, it seemed a fraction of a second faster on Nougat variant. You can see it in slow motion as well. The next app on the list was Facebook. It seemed as if the Nougat one opened the application faster because of its animation, but in the end the feed loaded up way faster on the Oreo variant. They both were on the same Wi-Fi connection if you guys are wondering. Instagram was almost identical. I couldn't even make out much difference in the slow motion. So let's just call this one a tie. And also follow me on Instagram at TechBurner for some cool video updates. The last app on the list is YouTube and as you guys can see it is way faster on the Oreo variant. So after this small speed test, I'm a little bit convinced that Oreo is a bit faster but we are yet to check the game loading times and I will also show you some benchmarks. I don't generally trust all these benchmarks but they can sometimes give you a nice insight. So Oreo was a little better in the Nina Mark score. It was almost the same in the N22 score. But one thing to note is that on Oreo, the 3D performance showed an increase in the numbers. And I think that's the reason why the Nina Mark score was also better. But on Quadrant, it's kind of a different story and Oreo lags a bit behind. I don't know why is that, but if you guys know, leave a comment down below and also subscribe to this channel because I keep making videos like this. And let's just move on to the gaming test. While testing the games, I might speed the clips up a bit to keep the video short, but I will show you who came first. For the first game, Temple Run, Oreo was way faster. While opening up survey surface as well, you won't need any kind of slow motion to make out that it opens up way faster on Oreo. The last game was Clash Royale and it was pretty much identical. Even in slow motion, I don't think you would be able to make out a difference. So now I can definitely say that even though the custom ROM that I'm running on Android Oreo is a bit rough right now and has some bugs, it still performs better than the Nougat variant. And we're comparing a very polished Lineage 14 ROM to a very new and rugged Lineage 15 ROM. So yes, the disadvantage is a bit for Oreo, but still it came out on top on almost all the applications. I decided to test them a bit more and I turned off animations on both of them just to make sure that the animations were not coming in the way of the test and the results came out a bit different and I was actually a bit surprised with this. When the animations were turned off, the results were a bit more closer and they were a bit more random at the same time. When we are comparing both of the ROMs with the animations turned off, I think it was pretty much a tie. When we compared both of them in the benchmarks, we could see that the 3D performance on Oreo was a bit better and I think it is showing up in these tests as well. I am led to believe that the rendering time on the Oreo animations is a bit less and that's because of the better 3D performance. 
I would say the ROM is still a bit rough and even though it was closer in the second test, it was still better in all the other tests that we did and right now we're comparing it with Lineage 14 that has been around for some time and many of the applications also have not been optimized for Oreo yet. So in conclusion, I can definitely say Oreo is faster than the previous variants and if you want to give it a shot, go ahead and do it because I'm enjoying it on my Moto G4 Plus. To do this test, I connected my mouse using an OTG cable to my mobile and I installed the ROMs one by one on the same phone and sync the videos together using the mouse clicks. Whenever you open an app, the mouse makes a click and I use that to sync the audios together and it is definitely more accurate than any two human fingers. And if you like the video guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.